What happened when the great Pete Dye applied his considerable imagination and genius on one of the most beautiful spots on earth? Well, you get glorious Teeth of the Dog at Casa de Campo Resort and Villas. The welcoming 7,000 acre luxury resort destination sits regally on the southeast coast of the Dominican Republic, just outside La Romana. Even with his glittering resume packed with big time layouts, the maestro himself called Teeth of the Dog his best course. With 11 exquisite inland holes joining the dramatic septet hugging the craggy coral rising out of the sea, playing golf on Teeth of the Dog is thrilling. The seven oceanside holes, five through eight, and 15, 16, and 17, are what golf holes hope to be in their wildest dreams. The storied par three fifth is one of the most photographed in the game. The tee shot plays over the surf to the peninsula green boldly jutting out into the Caribbean. Despite the idyllic setting, menace lurks most everywhere. The splendid par 4 8th is framed by the rugged shoreline and slew of bunkers on the higher ground, giving way to the tricky green protected by one of Dye's famous pot bunkers right. Pete Dye and his family had a home on the 8th for decades, and Casa de Campo erected this wonderful memorial nearby in his honor. It doesn't get much better than the par 4 15th. With the Caribbean hard right, the long strip of sand atop the coastline can be your friend if your tee shot starts bouncing towards a watery grave. The oblong putting surface can be tough to hit, especially with the sea gusts. And the great ocean holes keep going as we see here on the par 3 16th with the back tee playing over the beautiful inlet to the slanted putting surface abutting the natural seawall. Teeth of the dog is to be savored. And with three Pete Dye designs, as well as a slew of restaurants and loads of activities and amenities, as well as first class resort and villa accommodations, which all can be enjoyed via all inclusive packages, Casa de Campo is a golf vacation dream. As always, many thanks to my co-producer and editor, Nina Scott. Hey, thanks for tuning in to Have Clubs Will Travel. I'm David Wood.